Look no further because this is the best green bean casserole you will ever have. I've been making it this way for at least 35 years. It's always a big hit. Actually, my first video 10 years ago was how to make the best green bean casserole. Same recipe, but I'm just making a bigger batch on this one. It's Thanksgiving and we need to feed our guests. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna go over real quick on what you're gonna need. Now I am making a larger batch of green bean casserole than I did on my older video. If you wanna make a larger batch of green bean casserole, just add a little bit more of everything. I'm gonna use six cans of cut green beans. You can use fresh if you rather. I have three cans of Campbell's cream of mushroom soup. I may only need two, it just all depends on the texture. Use your favorite brand of cream of mushroom soup. I used a store brand before and it just was not the same. I have a pound of bacon here. I'm gonna at least use half of this. I have one medium white onion that I'm gonna chop. And of course, we're gonna need our fried onions. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this onion up real quick. Okay, I have my onion all chopped up and bacon. I cut my bacon into about one inch pieces. By the way, that's eight slices of bacon that I used. Okay, I have my heat set to about a medium, medium low. I'm gonna go ahead and add our bacon and our onions. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cook this until our bacon is done and I have a nice brown color on our onions. Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick look at the bacon and onions. They are done. There is nothing like the smell of bacon and onions cooking. Oh my goodness. Now I went ahead and drained my green beans well. I learned it's easy just to go ahead and dirty up a bowl and mix everything up in here than to try to do it in a casserole dish because that gets pretty messy. I'm gonna take our bacon and onions and just pour it in. There is not much grease. I'm going to pour grease and all in here. You can drain it if you want. I'm going to go ahead and give this a nice little mix before I add the soup. I'm going to start off with two cans of cream and mushroom soup. I'm going to go ahead and mix this all up, then I will decide if we need another can of cream of mushroom. Okay, I do not think we need any more cans of cream of mushroom soup to did the trick. Okay, I went ahead and put this into my casserole dish. You may have noticed that I did not add milk. I do not like adding milk. It's one thing I hate, and that is a runny green bean casserole. Leaving the milk out will make this nice and creamy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in my 350 degree oven for probably a good 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, I just took this out of the oven. It's been in there for 40 minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and top it with our fried onions and we're gonna put it back in for about five minutes or so just to crisp these up. Okay, I took this out of the oven. It took five minutes to uh, crisp up these onions. So if you make this, I can almost guarantee you, people are gonna ask who brought the green bean casserole? And they're going to want the recipe and I can almost guarantee you they're going to go back for seconds because this is the best green bean casserole I am telling you so what is your favorite food for Thanksgiving let me know down in the comments mine of course is green bean casserole it's actually tied between green bean casserole and stuffing give me them too and I'm all set if you try this, please come back and let me know how you liked it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.